Press this guy cast Defender on himself a couple times. I don't think it stacks, so I don't know why you would do it more than once. Just keep hitting him. How he def cast a Defender on me, he apparently had nothing better to do. And make sure he couldn't kill me even more. Hit the, ch the chicken foot. I don't care what you say. Chicken foot, that is. Down it goes. Now we are free to move on. Oh, we need to go this side. Not... Uh, God. I feel like just running past all these guys, to be honest with you, because... But... No. No. I'll, I'll, I'll leave him in, because I need the experience for weapons, if nothing else. Although, at my levels, I don't think we're, we're getting that close anymore uh, to how many levels I need to go up anymore. Uh, I might have over-leveled myself. Eh, no. There it is. How close are we here? Yeah, 27. It's going to take forever. Oh my god, it takes so long when you get to the higher levels to level grind on the weapons. And it is boss time yet again. Eh, you thought we were done? No. No. Uh, gem missile on this guy. This is the Thunder Gigas. Um, yeah. What, what do you want me to say? He packs quite a punch. Uh, he also has a lot of MP. Or, sorry, a lot of HP. I'm considering how much MP I'm going to need to take him out. But, yeah, gem missile. The thing that most things are weak to in this game, to be honest with you. Things that are fairly easy to do. And I think, yeah, this one is also very easy to, not necessarily chain, but he's not hes not getting a chance to move. We'll just keep going and then we'll replenish the MP off of Ice Thugs when we're done. And Jake's Defender went away. So that was him with Defender. Is he dead yet? Down he goes. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. By far the best magic as far as I can tell. Way to go! And for that we get another swords orb! Very nice. And I believe we are getting close to the end of the boss run here. Close. Not done! Close. I think we got one more, to be honest with you. And there's the ice thug that I can replenish all my MP back from. And we're up to 82! What do you know? We'll probably get to uh, 99, and that'll be the cap. And 40 back, and I think that's full. So, we're done trying to get magic back. That's how simple it is if you leveled up everything properly. No, we're not taking on the ghost. I don't, I don't care. The ghost is not worth my time. But, as you can see, the NPCs are... The AI, I should say, are pretty stupid when it comes to that. And we're close to another level up! Hooray! It is making le weapon level grinding very, very difficult for me. Any surprises what we need to do here? Defeat the dragon to the left. Save your game. No, I'm good. I have done, I, the, I feel like I'm over grinded, which I probably have done. Uh, but, especially with the magic absorb. Uh, things are fairly easy for me, but uh, trying to pace out the grinding, to be honest with you, so that I can uh, have everything maxed by the end of the game, uh, that can be quite difficult. Um, but, uh, you know, I've done quite a bit of leveling already. And kill the eggplant man. We must kill the eggplant. <laughs> there we go. Just need to hit him a couple times when he's got... Forget it. No, we're so close to the end. And it is boss time yet again. This time we're up against the blue dragon. Guess what this guy's weak to? Surprisingly, gnome again. Weird. Jet missile. Go. And this guy doesn't have nearly as much MP as the last guy, uh, so he should be fairly easy. We're still doing 500 to him, and it's pretty easy to chain cast this. Well, you know, once again, it's not officially chain casting unless you can get all of them into the one, um, the one damage output. But to me, this is a lot better since since I don't waste anything. You know, just keep on going. And trust me, I would have leveled one of these magics up if 
I could, but we're still stuck on level 7 uh, because we don't have all the seeds yet. And down he goes! I was about to say, that should be enough. But that was one too high. Yet again! Pretty damn easy. Way to go! And we've done it yet again, and we get the Boomerang's Orb, which I believe is the last... the last orb in the game, as far as I remember. We are very close to the end of the game! We are, we are definitely getting there sooner rather than later. Let's take out that eggplant man! Ah, damn you! You all need to die! Die! Thank you for dying! And he cast a wall, and we leveled up to level 66 across the board. I don't, I don't know when exactly we did that, if that was in the boss fight or not. Oh no, Yancy leveled up right there, so it probably was not in the boss fight. <sighs> God, I gotta clear the way for you. Yeah, I don't I? Just gotta get everything out of the way for you. Alright, now we are free to move on! Continue on. Do I... do you... no. No! I don't even know why you would even ask at this point, to be honest with you. Where are we? We're in the Mana Forest. What do you mean? I, I, I don't know where we are. We're shiny wherever we are! Look! At what? Ah, oh, something over there. It is quite a view. The Mana Tree! Oh, the Mana Tree! Very nice. There it is. In all its glory. We're here! Let's revive the Mana Sword! Can we just do that? It's like a dream! This is all but a dream. Can we really be here? Yes. Yes, we can. Jake! We've done it! What do you mean we've done it? Man? I'm so glad I met you! And you too, Yancey! Yeah. I'm so lucky I found such good help! <laughs> yes, <laughs> they are your help, Yancey. Unfortunately, that is the case. So much has happened. Kind of. We never gave up hope. And we have just one more job to do. Ask the mana tree to revive the sword. Then we can beat the fortress. Because the fortress is destroying nature. We can't let that happen. <laughs> oh, that music sounds very familiar to me. Ah, now see the power of the mana fortress! Help! Hey, you guys okay? Help! No. They wouldn't. And we've arrived at the mana tree. Jake. Jake. Wake up. I I I'm up. Where are we? There's no more mana tree. What the? After all we've been through, it's Thanatos' is doing. So just blow up your cheeks? What the hell, Yancey? Damn it, Jonesy, what are you doing? What's going to happen now? Jake, it is I, the mana tree. The mana fortress is using up most of the world's mana. Soon all the beasts of... What? Soon all the beasts will be transformed into one giant creature. Only the great mana beast can bring back mana. But the beast has little control over its rage. If it were to attack the fortress, the world would be finished. The only way to avoid this is to beat it using the mana sword. The sword can only be used by people of the tribe of mana. Your father, the legendary knight, Saren, should be standing here now. And I believe this is the first time in the game that we are told that Saren 
is Jake's father. If you remember right, uh, Gemma was, is the second greatest swordsman next to Saren. So uh, that's kind of important. He was badly wounded 15 years ago by the Emperor, but vowed to stop him. On his way to a final showdown, he fell and never got up. That was in Potos. You mean, the ghost I saw by the falls was my dad? That was your father, Saren. I was his wife, and am your mother. We are of the Mana tribe. The women of our tribe become the tree and the protectors of the world. The men wield the sword and protect against evil. You must stop the fortress. Mana is weak, and its shields are down. With my last energy, I will summon the power of the seeds of mana. Sword power at maximum! And yes, the mana tree has a deep voice in my mind, even though it is a woman. It doesn't make much sense to me either. Jake, I'm sorry. I haven't been much of a mother to you. Mother, is that really you? Please. Mother? Why won't you talk to me? Mother! Jake. Mother. My. This is nuts! Snap out of it! She's asked us to do something! Shion doesn't have a mother! Really? Yeah, nobody has mothers. Yeah, he, he just met his... And neither do I! How many times do I have to fucking press the S button to show up the rest of the dialogue? Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, what if... I'll be okay. He just found his mother! After his entire life, we have to assume he's in his teenage years by now. You know, it's a Japanese RPG. I assume he's like 16. I've got a lot to live up to, and we have a big job ahead. He hasn't met his mother. 15, 16 years, something like that, right? However old he is. She suddenly talks to him, and everybody is like, She stopped talking. Why are you still upset that she's right here? Shut up, I don't even have a mom. Everybody's got a mom. Now you're talking number one! Yeah, I feel like I just met my mom, too! I know she's in my heart. Alright, let's do it, yeah! And... I believe we're actually done here. Uh, anything else to do around here? I, I don't think they let me do much of anything. Can I do anything with the sword? try to swipe at the mana tree. Uh, I believe, though, as a result of that, we should have, there we go, all eight mana seeds working on our side. Very nice. So we can finally level up everything up to level eight, and I'll show you how that works a little bit. Uh, yeah, pretty much need to, to power up my magic and my weapons. Get all those upgraded. I'll let you see their final forms. And we can level up everything. And then we can move on to the final battle. The Mana Fortress. That's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Secret of Mana. I've been Bala Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by my legendary squad of... Jake, Shion, and Yancey. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.